Hi, I'm Joe Bassett. Uh, we're at Farm Progress Show 2015, and I wanted to talk about one of our really exciting new products, the Model ZRX Cover Crop Roller Crimper, um, which is right here. And, you know, people are talking about cover crops all the time these days. Cover crops are a big deal, and people say, you know, there's just a lot of energy and momentum around cover crops, but I feel like a lot of times there's People say, hey, plant cover crops, great soil health, great everything, but what's missing is really the execution of how am I going to do it, okay? So what we did last year at Dawn is we kind of broke off with this experimental new brand called Dawn Biologic, and Dawn Bio is going to be specifically focused on making products generally relating to soil health, whether that be uh, cover crops as they apply in, in large-scale operations, small-scale operations. We're even getting interested in um, organics. Uh, we want to we make equipment that enables people to farm the way they want. And the ZRX roller crimper is one of those things. So it's... For years, people have known the benefits of cover crops. And they come in and they plant into it and they say, well, and they use conventional row cleaner residue management things, and it never works out, right? Toothed wheel row cleaners, like the things that we've made for years and years and years, they just don't work because the, the teeth grab on the longer grasses, like, like rye grass, and they wrap up. And, you know, some people say, oh, you know, uh, we'll, we'll just use discs or so on and so forth. Um, this product here, combines the best of both worlds because what it does is it it enables you to plant in really really tall cereal rye in cereal rye is the thing right it's cereal rye is becoming that go-to um cover crop that people are going to have in their mix because you can get so much growth it 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 doesn't you know winter kill uh it it grows fast and it also will head out early enough to the point where you can mechanically terminate it right and for organic growers, that's really the key, is how do I, you know, mechanically kill this cover crop? And not only that, cereal rye makes this dense, thick mat of, of material on the ground which prevents weed growth, which is, which is just huge. I mean, you know, people talk about cover crops and, and it's all about soil health, it's all about water quality, it's about nutrient reduction here and, and everything like that. But in reality, I think what is gonna get people into cover crops more than anything is reduction in herbicide use. And I hear all the time from people that say, hey, my neighbor, he started using the cereal rye cover crops and, and doing the roller crimping thing, and he went from four passes of you know, herbicide down to one. And that's huge savings. Okay, the soil health and that kind of thing and like building your, your, your soil quality and, the, and everything, that, that's important, but it takes, it's a multi-year step. And sometimes people lose patience along the way while they're still on that journey because your soil is not going to rebuild itself overnight. But cutting down that uh, your your herbicide program and being more effective and using a cover crop as weed control that's something that starts paying you back immediately. So the ZRX roller, I really um, you know I have to I feel like this product. Don and also, you know, Lesser Publications have a real relationship together because I actually discovered this product in a Lesser video. And I saw that thing work and it was a farmer invention. I said, you know what? That, that, that deal is a winner. And I went out there and I met with the original inventor of this product, a guy named um, Charles Martin, literally the next week. And I said, we've got to make this product. It's a winning deal. Um, and because there are very few really novel ground engaging items um, at play here. So what this is, normally when people think about a crimping roller or a roller, they've traditionally thought about a big, large diameter, heavy thing that's on the front of the tractor that is like a big, just a big, large diameter roller in one piece, right? And this is totally different. So what, what it is, every row unit has a parallel linkage that can float up and down. And you set the, the down pressure hydraulically to say, hey, I'm pushing on the ground this hard. And then the plant material comes at it, and these discs right here, they're not really to do any soil disturbance. What they're doing is they're channeling the flow. You have almost like an ocean of, of residue and, and cover crop coming at it. They direct it to the outside, and then the, as they push it to the outside, the roller with this helical shape grabs it and pulls it down. 
away from the center of the row. So it makes this characteristic chevron pattern in the cereal rye. I'll send you guys some images that you can cut in. And, and, and it, it, it terminates it. And interestingly, I don't think that it's all the crimping action on the stalk or the stem, which is actually allowing you to mechanically ter terminate it. This deal, if the cereal rye has headed out and it's become relatively brittle down at the base, it more shears it off at the base and kills it. It's not so much crimping it over, okay? Um, but regardless, you can get a 100% mechanical kill on cereal rye with this device. Now don't, don't think, not anything else, okay? Cereal rye is one of the few crops that I think you can actually mechanically kill. Annual rye grass is, is too short. And because it's shorter, it doesn't actually, you can't, the mechanics of snapping it over aren't the same. You know, so you do have to be judicious. You're not going to kill clover. You're not gonna kill vetch. Obviously, vetch and some other, you know, Pro, uh, cover crops that are really difficult to plant into without wrapping up along other stuff is another excellent opportunity for this product right here. So each roller comes in a different section length. We have 30 inches, 36 inches. We're even making a 70 millimeter metric unit for the European market. It fits between these, okay? And you have spherical bearings in each linkage so it allows them to articulate up and down. So the roller, instead of being one big piece, is like a snake that fits itself to the surface of the soil. So you can really apply the pressure to it in order to um, get it crimped effectively. And this can, bear in mind, in a heavy cover crop, this can take some weight, okay? You might need 200, 300 pounds per row. And so you're almost always gonna have some tanks that you can fill with some ballast over the top of it. Um, what planters can this go on? Common questions I get. Obviously, you know, 7,000, 7,200 planters, older planters, those are pretty common. Um, front folding planters like the 1770 series deer planters, those we can fit on it. Um, the, the, the pick and turn Kinsey planters like the 3600, you can use that front bar. That works well too. Uh, a lot of people say, hey, can I remove the discs and just run it as a roller? Because the organic guys, they don't want to clear any black soil, okay? You know, anywhere where you have uh, black soil showing, that's a place where you're gonna have weeds grow. So the organic guys, they don't want to do anything. And they say, hey, I, I'm going organic. I don't want those discs. I don't need them. You still need them on there, okay? Because they still keep the material flowing around and they keep it from wrapping up on the hubs and the bearings, okay? Uh, 15 inches. 15 inches, it, there, it's difficult in terms of which 15 inch planters you'd actually be able to fit on. There are some that would work. Um, you would probably use it more like an organic style where you're really not doing much row cleaning. But the, the row cleaning and the clear black path that it makes, that's gonna to appeal to the guy who is not going organic, is growing corn, you gotta get good seed to soil contact, you've got to have a warm place to, to, for good emergence, you know. Um, still gonna do a herbicide program, albeit a reduced herbicide program, that's where you really make the clear black strips going through it. Um, you know, the, the row cleaning discs are just adjusted with a screw right there like that. Very simple, very low maintenance. We have an electrohydraulic down pressure control system that goes in the cab where you can adjust from the cab. We also have a really simple one where you just dial a knob at low cost. And um, this deal just plain works because, it, and the, the other cool thing is that it consequently, the features that make it work well in cover crops also make it work well in standing corn stalks. And for no-tilling beans into standing corn stalks, there is nothing better because you go in between the rows and the old stalk is running right in the middle of the roller, right down here, and it mashes them down and breaks them up and it makes that corn residue break down faster. So it's, it's really good in a host of different conditions. If you get into a worked field and you don't wanna run it, you can retract it and lift it up out of the ground. You know, so that's pretty much it. Um, again, uh, uh, Thanks for the work that you guys do for promoting the no-till community and everything like that. And uh, thanks a lot for uh, coming by the Dawn booth at Farm Progress 2015.